Why hello there, Fabian here, getting ready to do my first Niquid review. This one is from atrociousvapes.com and it's called... I don't hold out much hope for this one. Hi, this is Bapian from ECF again with what I hope will be a quick video on how to build the bottle fillinator. If you've been watching my videos, there's a short video that I posted, uh, I think a couple of weeks ago now, uh, demonstrating the bottle fillinator. So I thought I'd go ahead and show how all the parts go together and what sort of materials I used and that sort of thing, because the construction process is not quite as simple as the cartomizer fillinator. So without further ado, Let's get on with it. First, an overview of some of the materials that you might need. A 30 milliliter bottle with a lure lock cap. A 3 inch 14 gauge lure lock needle or just the 14 gauge stainless steel needle tubing. A nylon or polycarbonate male to female lure lock adapter. A 1 milliliter syringe with a lure lock tip that has been modified by cutting it so that the end has been removed, a short silicone tube that we will use for a prop, the silicone tube that you intend to use for your adapter, and later a cartomizer to be filled and your favorite liquid. You'll also need a straw of some sort which will eventually be inserted through the male female lure lock adapter, and you might also need a drill and maybe a Dremel tool. And some glue. You will need silicone adhesive and two-part epoxy. First thing you need to do is cut a three inch length of stainless steel needle tubing. Now you can get this in 60 inch lengths from Amazon or you can just buy three inch lure lock needles where you get your normal liquid supplies. In this case I'm using a diamond cutting wheel from Harbor Freight. Here I'm just deburring after I've cut to make sure that I don't have any sharp edges. Then mix up some two-part epoxy, something food grade preferably. I'll take the cap from your lure lock bottle and take your 14 gauge needle get some on a paper clip or something and spin that around one end of the needle trying to make sure that it does not go into the tip of the needle. Once you've got a good drop there stick that inside the lure lock cap from the bottom and push it through to where it just starts to stick out. Now put a little more epoxy on the tip of that needle so that when you pull it back down into the cap you've got a good seal top and bottom. In order to stand these up afterwards, a short cut piece of cartomizer end cap. You can put that on the end of the lure lock tube and that will help it stand up. Make sure that the tip doesn't stick out too far, stand it up. And I put some epoxy on the inside of the cap as well, just to make sure that I've got a good airtight and liquid tight seal inside that cap. Now before that epoxy dries, you want to make sure the needle is straight. This is a male-female nylon lure lock adapter. Cut the tip off of that just like we did for the cartomizer fillinator. Now this one happens to be a much larger diameter than I want. So I cut the end off a one milliliter polycarbonate syringe with a lure lock tip and chucked that into a drill so that I could spin this and sand it down while keeping the circumference nice and even. But with the adapter in that chucked syringe and the help of a Dremel tool, I'm going to try and take that adapter circumference down to the same circumference as a lure lock needle tip. This does take some patience because you don't want to take too much material off. So check frequently and just make sure 
that you're not gouging it or creating any problems with it. Now check the size frequently against your silicone tube. You'll get it down to a point eventually where the silicone tube will just start to fit and you'll see it flange out a bit when that happens. You don't want it to flange out because that could lead to leaks and wasted liquid later. And once you've got it the right size, go ahead and chamfer it and sand it down to make it neat and then you're ready to actually make the adapter for your cartomizer. I found a straw that goes through the center of the male-female adapter to keep that from clogging and due to my phenomenal camera work you can't see that I'm filling the lock collar with silicone now. I've put some extra in there so that I can work that to the sides and use that to actually glue on the silicone tube. Now the reason I'm filling that lock collar with silicone is so that it does not fill up with liquid when filling cartomizers later. And when you put the silicone tube on here, you want to make sure you don't disturb that fill that you put into the lock collar earlier. You want to try and keep it straight, and you want to give it a little twist just to make sure all the surface is made up nicely. Now I used the one milliliter uh, syringe that I chucked into the drill earlier to spin this around and use my finger to smooth any excess silicone on the end. Again, checking to make sure that it's straight make sure I've got a good seal and a good smooth finish on that then you can set it aside and let it cure for at least 24 hours now I made adapters with the long 510 cartomizer end cap the shorter stouter one that I tend to prefer and you can also make custom ones provided that you've got the tubing and adhesive for it such as for the GoGo -Go cartomizer And you can make these for any cartomizers you have that you can fit together and all you have to do is use this thing. Take the adapter, screw it into the top of the bottle fillinator, put the cartomizer in the adapter and you'll notice it does not take a lot of liquid since that needle tube is running towards the bottom you can do this with only five or ten milliliters. Now when you squeeze sometimes covering the tip of the cartomizer with your finger can provide some additional pressure but right now I'm having trouble filling. The reason for that is that this particular bottle fillinator cap was made with an 18 gauge needle which is simply too small in diameter to push things through. So let's give this a try using a cap made with a 14 gauge needle as I really recommend. As I squeeze the fluid starts to fill the cartomizer from the center works its way up that tube and starts to fill it from the top as well. If you look closely at the bottom of the cartomizer it's got the gap that I noticed in a test video not more than a couple of weeks ago. Now this cartomizer is actually a little oversaturated so when blown out you can see it's got sort of a mottled appearance and that's just a perfectly filled cartomizer. Wardrobe change happens when you shoot over two days. Anyway, that is how you build and use a bottle fillinator with the male-female lure lock adapter for your cartomizer. Thank you all very much for your interest and for your support. I'll see you around later. Take care.